What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are on our way uh, with an empty to get loaded up at a spot in the Bronx. Um, I'm pretty sure we're picking up some pallets, but right now we're gonna stop by around Newark Airport and pick up some gas because the fuel pumps weren't working today. So right now, as you guys can see, kind of basically low, I don't know if you guys can see, but we're kind of low on fuel. We have about 183 miles. So I might as well go and fuel up right now since it's on the way to the Bronx. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, press the bell notification button so you guys don't miss another video and share the video. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. So today we have about, I don't wanna say, I think like seven stops. And yeah, we just finished up one right now. We just picked up this empty, like I said. So we're gonna get loaded up over here. It's like a third party company in the Bronx. Never been there. Uh, so we're gonna figure out how it is. Kind of looked at the maps and it's, it's pretty big. Like it's a big warehouse, so. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have any issues with parking parking wise that's funny yeah it's a paper plate like with the with the sharpie that's all that's literally the plate it's like a piece of paper and like you wrote down the license plate number well anyways yeah we're gonna go over there get loaded up and then from there we're gonna go to PA um, I believe it's also a third party company and yeah, I mean, today should be pretty easy. It's my second day of the week. Um, I didn't record yesterday, but today, you know, gotta get back on that grind. Haven't been posting much lately, but we're still here. We're still consistent. We're still trying to push out these videos without getting in trouble, you know? Kinda wish I had my own truck so that way not, no, you know, no one could tell me what I can and can't, but this is all fake. This is all CGI. None of it is real. I don't work for nobody. And yeah, this is all green screen. CGI and AI, you know, technology has advanced. So it makes it seem like we actually are working. We're really not working. We're just at home playing a video game. So <laughs> anyways, back to uh, what we're doing. So we're gonna get loaded up. There's traffic to get in, taking this exit to go to Newark Airport. All right, so we just made it to, this is a gas station where they have CNG. And yeah, you just turn in here. So once that car, all right, we should be good right here. this and yeah there's a CNG over there but most likely gonna take this one right here once that guy is done I would definitely go in actually I could probably just start fidgeting in already Yeah, I mean, it's a tight space, but you, you you can still make it in. There's another one right there, but someone decides to park and get gas there when there's other pumps open, which is cool, it's fine. I'm just saying, like, you could've just parked over here. The, this pump that's to my left is open. There's a pump right there that's open. You know, you know, you get what I'm saying? Well, I mean, what can you do? so you guys can see we are basically in the Bronx and these it's, we're like 3.4 miles away but it's about like 20 minutes because of traffic and everything so that's some of the things you got to deal with three miles in New York is like 20 minutes sometimes but anyways we are waiting 
So we're gonna arrive there late. We're supposed to depart there by two o'clock and we're gonna arrive there close to like one. And we were supposed to arrive there at 11.30, but there was a lot of traffic as well as I needed to stop by to get fuel and that took a while. So I already let dispatch know they, we're gonna see what happens because this is a third party. So they might take longer to even load me up. So if that's the case, we might just, depending on what dispatch wants to do, they might just cancel the route or cancel the stop and keep pushing to the next stop. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out once we get there. And we got some trucks right here. Drive a little slow, you know what I'm saying? Make sure everybody's safe. And then, should be good. Gave him a lot of space. So we just got in. You guys, guys can see it's a small little company of pallets. I guess that truck in front of me is waiting. So I'm gonna go see how long the wait is and if it's gonna be after my departure time, I'm gonna obviously let my dispatch know. So that way they can see what they plan on doing if they're just gonna bob tell me. I mean, not bob tell, but cancel this stop and then I guess change up my stops and see where I go next. So we're gonna figure that out right now. So I'll let you guys, I'll keep you guys updated once I know. All right, so long story short, um, yeah, they're gonna take about two or more hours for them to load me up. So basically, uh, dispatch called ROC. ROC wanted to confirm with the, I guess the vendor making sure that everything, like it's gonna take that long. And then they basically canceled this stop and my next stop. So now I just gotta drop this trailer off at the stop after those, which is also in PA, but it's an Amazon. So I'm gonna drop this and then pick up a loaded and then just continue about my day basically. So we should be good. Um, we was just here for a while. Like we just left at 3.05. I just got out of there and I got here at what? Like one o'clock, so about two hours. But we're getting paid by the hour, so it's not too bad. Right now we're going to basically what would have been my fourth stop. So from there, we got another stop after that, and then that's pretty much it. So I think like two more stops after, after this one. So yeah, you guys can see New York traffic is crazy. People are crazy. People drive crazy. You just gotta deal with it kind of, not let it bother you or get overwhelmed. It's not too bad. And my phone mount broke for my on the windshield, so I have it like this now until I get myself a new one. And I did mention to you guys, you know, once we get to a thousand subscriber, I'm probably gonna give one of those away too. I'm gonna buy kind of like a nice one for you guys, one where you can like charge your phone when you have it on the the phone mount, because I've seen they have those for like the iPhones. You just put it on, and it'll charge it as your phone is mounted so you don't have to have the wire so that's pretty cool it takes longer to charge but it's nice to have so we probably give one of those away once we get to a thousand subscribers and I'll probably buy myself one too because now I need it mine's been going through mine's went through a lot and I definitely need a new one but yeah this is a lot of traffic, a lot, a lot of traffic. That's why I be telling you guys like, you know, I hate New York coming to these stops because of the things like this, road work, some streets are closed that I need to get on just to get to these stops. I just hate it completely. I prefer going to Connecticut, taking like my, tra I I'd rather be in traffic than dealing with roads and figuring out around it, to be honest. I'd rather deal with the traffic. So, I don't know where we're going tomorrow yet because they don't usually put out the schedule this early. 
I'll probably find out by around like 6 in the afternoon. 6 p.m. I'll probably know where I'm going for the next day. But right now we're gonna hop on 278 West. And basically that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna take that all the way to Jersey. And I believe it's all the way to Jersey. Let me see. Could be wrong. So yeah, 278. Hop back. Hop. Yeah, we're gonna hop back on the George Washington. And then go through 78. Well, the Jersey Turnpike, then 78. So not too bad today. It's pretty easy to be honest with you guys. I think this is a good job for a lot of you guys who are starting off because most of it is drop and hook and it's kind of straightforward. And you, you'll get some occasional like three third parties. So once you do get that experience up, you can go to um, a different job or a different place to work for it and you won't be as like lost with the third parties. Like, cause this kind of helps you build up your tolerance and not being able, not getting overwhelmed. There's times where the parking spaces are small. Like it's good that they throw, like there's some here and there to get used to them. So when you do work for someone else, you don't feel like scared or like lost. drinks keeps it cool so I highly recommend it great book bag People do not, they rather die than let you merge. All right, so I'm gonna record this real quick. We're dropping off at 216. Uh, my GoPro literally about to die, so hopefully, I can capture this. I'm parking it right here. you guys just saw me back into um yeah we're taking this to i believe somerset drop this off and after that that's pretty much it um i still haven't taken my break because the spots that i went to today didn't have any truckers lounge so sometimes you're going to deal with things like this where most of your stops don't have uh truckers lounge and 
if you bring food from home you won't be able to heat it up hopefully this one that i'm going to right now should have a microwave i'm not i haven't checked it so i'm not sure it's a 50 50 it might it might not uh, worst case scenario i'll just have to buy something and I can't eat the food i brought from home which sucks but you know it is what it is and we are about 14 miles from the stop we're supposed to go to right now so about 15 minutes but yeah yeah i get what i'm saying when you go to new york 3.5 miles was 20 minutes 13 miles is about give or take 20 minutes so that traffic does a big difference in New York. And that three miles can be 20 minutes. And 13 miles is 20 minutes in here in, in New Jersey. But anyways, yeah, we're about to go over there right now. It's about 8.30. So by the time I get there, it should be about like 8.50. Try to eat, head back to the yard. Well, I'll probably take my break there, then head back to the yard. And I'll probably be out by like 10.30. 10 30 hit the gym tomorrow my last day for today's world well, this week's work week um they didn't have overtime again this week i mean they did but it was going to be on the weekend and i already worked sunday so i didn't want to work saturday and sunday to me it's not worth it so i'll just wait it out hopefully there's some overtime during the week like maybe a wednesday or thursday or even a friday but definitely not a sad they don't want to give up my whole weekend just working that's usually when I spend time with the family anyways we're about to take this exit I ain't gonna lie to you guys I'm starving like I'm hungry I brought myself a bagel this morning and like I ate some Greek yogurt that I brought from home and that's about it so far but I'm hungry again and I kind of want to eat before I go to the gym I don't like working out on an empty stomach I don't want to eat I don't want to work out on full either but I try to eat a couple hours before the gym so by the time I get to the gym food kind of digested and I got some like some energy to work out It's kind of still like not too dark out. It's kind of nice. I wish it could be like this all year round. You know, sunsets at eight. I hate the winter when the winter time when around 4:35 it's already dark, pitch black. This is what it looks like in the winter, like around four. And I hate it. So I love this type of weather. I love fall too. I, I don't know why, but something about fall. I love that season as well. I just rode this lane the whole way because trying to get over people don't let you or they're just in a rush so they could go around
guys, I'm hungry. So we're about to be at the next stop. We're about 1.7 miles, so about like two minutes. Luckily, I fueled up today in the morning and at the airport because I think I had like less than a quarter tank. That probably had like about 150 miles left. It wasn't gonna do nothing for today. And you guys see that we drove a lot today. We went to the Bronx, we didn't even pick anything up. From there, we went to PA. PA, we come back to Jersey. So I still drove a lot. So thankfully, and plus I have the AC, so that burns a lot more. So thankfully, we were able to fuel up in the morning. Luckily, the gas station wasn't uh, too crowded or else we would have been stranded with no gas because CNG is very hard to find. Like you gotta really go out your way and out your route just to even find a CNG gas station or station, so. Luckily, we were able to stop by the airport, which is on the way to the Bronx, and got to fuel up. I'm pretty sure I've been to this location before. I'm just not sure if they have a trucker's lounge and all that good stuff. I'm not sure. I don't remember from the top of my head. I'm hoping it does, but if it doesn't, we're basically out of luck when it comes to eating. Well, we're about to find out right now. I see a couple buildings definitely not the building but if they all look like this we might be in luck and have um a trucker's lounge here and i'm praying we do bro i really am well at least a microwave i just need to heat up my food that's all it is bro a restroom and microwave that's all i need and some water sometimes i'm running low on water but other than that I'm, that's all i really need I think we might be in luck. It looks like they might have it, yeah. So, that's a good sign. It's one of those modern, see like, these Amazon fulfillments, the one that have like all the light, baby light blue, for some reason I've noticed they always have a trucker's lounge. And then the ones that are like, uh, like black and, and yellowish, like an older Amazon fulfillment, they usually never have. I don't understand why. But like these are like the newer buildings and newer like um designs and they usually add the truckers lounge i guess they realize you know let's cater a little bit to the truckers since they you know deliver and bring all the loads to us let's at least get them a, a truckers lounge so i'm pretty sure this one does have it i'm pretty sure so we should be good all right so we just made it in we're checked in dropping off at the parking slip and there's no empties at the site from what he's telling me so I let already already let 
my dispatch know that there's no empties. I don't know how accurate that is because you know I see an empty right here, but I don't think it might be our trailer. Yeah, it might not be, but anyways. It looks like he's struggling. But anyways, yeah, since there's no empties, you know, I ain't fighting it. They say there's no empties, there's no empties. I ain't gonna tell them otherwise, you know? Can't fight with them. They saying there's no empties. So we're gonna drop this off at five, park yourself five, six, eight. Uh, I gotta look for that. Should be probably somewhere around here. Actually, I don't remember being here a while ago. It was a while. Five, six, eight, so. Should be right. Well, someone parked here. So I can't leave it here now. Five, six, eight. See, what's all we're talking about when people park in my parking spot? Basically, what I'll do is I'll loop around and find a parking spot that they have somewhere out there. Nothing else I can do. Not my problem, not my fault. Whoever put it there, they must have not known. So. Yeah, I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, let's just drop it right here. 